here are some major cities around the globe that will be underwater in the near future. Number 10, Osaka, Japan. A former capital of Japan, Osaka has been an economic and commercial center for centuries. More than two and a half million people live in the city and Osaka is the country's second most populated city after Tokyo. Osaka is also known as the kitchen of Japan and is famous for delicious food. As a result of global sea level rise, storm surges, and other factors, economists project that coastal flooding could put it at risk by the 2070s. Over this century and beyond, scientists expect a warming world to drive further sea level rise, putting several more million people in Japan at risk of flooding. As if sea levels rising weren't enough, Japan is also exposed to the environmental, economic, and social effects of typhoons. Parts of Osaka, the commercial heart of a region whose GDP is almost as big as that of the Netherlands, might disappear completely underwater. This obviously would threaten the local economy and almost a third of the wider region of 19 million residents. Scientists project that global sea level is likely to rise as high as nearly two feet above recent average levels by the end of this century, affecting 5.2 million people. Number 9. Alexandria, Egypt The coastline that draws locals to Alexandria's scenic vistas is threatening to slowly engulf the historic city because of rising sea levels. The government has warned that 13% of Egypt's coastline is at risk from rising Mediterranean sea levels. Many of the cafes and businesses on the Alexandria coast have begun adjusting to extreme weather. On the southern tip of the Mediterranean, the coastal waters are inching closer to buildings and flooded ancient structures, including the Greco-Roman tombs at Enfushi. Seawater seeping into the groundwater has also made the fragile ground more unstable, resulting in the alarming collapse of some of the city's buildings. The UN estimates that global sea level will rise between 5 and 26 inches by 2050, and they say that the Mediterranean region is particularly vulnerable. The IPCC reported that Alexandria's beaches would be submerged even with a 20-inch sea level rise, while 8 million people would be displaced by flooding in Alexandria and the Nile Delta if no protective measures are taken. Number 8. Shanghai, China In March 2017, China's State Oceanic Administration issued a report that stated that the average sea level along the Chinese coast was 33 millimeters higher than it was in 2015 and 82 millimeters higher than the average level from 1993 to 2011. The finding continues a trend that has seen sea levels rising along the Chinese coast by an average of 3.2 millimeters each year. The administration attributes this trend to climate change. When it comes to flooding, the coastal city of Shanghai is one of the world's most vulnerable. Now one of the world's biggest ports, the former fishing village is bordered by the Yangtze River in the north and divided through the middle by the Huangpu River. The municipality involves uh, several islands, two long coastlines, shipping ports, and miles of canals, rivers, and waterways. In 2012, a report from a team of UK and Dutch scientists declared Shanghai the most vulnerable major city in the world to serious flooding based on factors such as numbers of people living close to the coastline, time needed to recover from flooding, and measures to prevent flood water. According to Climate Central projections, 17 and a half million people could be displaced by rising waters if global temperatures increase by 3 degrees Celsius. Projections show that the vast majority of the city could eventually be submerged in water. These areas include much of the downtown region, both airports, and the entirety of Shanghai's outlying Chongming Island. Number 7. Miami, Florida, USA Pancake flat and built on porous ground that's slowly sinking back to the seabed, Miami Beach is surrounded by water that's rising three times the pace of the global average. The entire southern section of Florida is at risk, but Miami Beach is of particular concern from other Florida cities. The obvious reason is that water levels here are rising especially quickly. The most frequent estimates puts the likely range between 6 to 10 inches above 1992 levels by 2030 and 31 to 61 inches by 2100. With tides higher than they have been in decades and far higher than when this swampy tropical corner of the U.S. began to be drained and built on a century ago, many of South Florida's drainage systems and seawalls are no longer enough. 
Miami Beach has spent around $200 million raising the height of streets in vulnerable areas, and the city even has a network of pumps to force water back off the streets after flooding. Even more radical fixes will be required. If rising sea levels aren't quickly tamed, then this vacation hotspot could be swallowed up by the end of this century. Number 6. Kiribati Pacific Island nations are among the world's most physically and economically vulnerable to climate change. Much of Kiribati, a collection of 33 coral atolls, and reef islands scattered across a portion of the Pacific Ocean lies no higher than 6 feet above sea level. The latest climate models predict that the world's oceans could rise 5 to 6 feet by 2100. The prospects of rising seas and intensifying storms threaten the very existence and livelihoods of large segments of the population. Half of the 6,500-person village of Bikini Bo, for instance, could be destroyed in 2050 by sea level rises and storm surges. Apart from that, degraded coral reefs, damaged by warming water, would allow stronger waves to slam the coast, increasing erosion. This would disrupt the food supply for the island, which depends heavily on fish supported by the reefs. In response, Kiribati has essentially been drawing up plans for its demise. The government has promoted migration with dignity, urging residents to consider moving abroad with employable skills. It bought nearly 6,000 acres in Fiji, an island nation more than 1,000 miles away, as a potential refuge. Fiji's higher elevation and more stable shoreline make it less vulnerable. Number 5. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Residents of Brazil's postcard city have plenty of reasons to fear global warming, even if they don't quite know it. According to Climate Central, a temperature rise of 3 degrees Celsius would cause flooding of not just Rio's famous beaches such as Copacabana and its waterfront domestic airport, but also inland areas of the Barra de Chajuca neighborhood where the Olympic Games were held in 2016. Storm surges in 2017 destroyed hundreds of meters of beachfront pavement overlooking the Macumba Beach, a popular surfing spot. In 2016, heavy waves and another storm surge decimated an elevated clifftop cycle path between Leblon Beach and Barra do Chajuca. The increase in frequency of the storms is hindering Rio's beach's ability to recuperate, leading to erosion along stretches of the shoreline. An adaptation plan for climate change produced with professors from the Federal University suggested strategies to deal with vulnerabilities in areas such as transport, health, and housing. But so far, little has been done. Brazil has more than 4,000 miles of shoreline, and 25% of its population lives along the coast. So, a viable solution should be put in place sooner than later. Number 4. New York City, New York, USA Like most American cities that border an ocean, New York City is at risk for flooding. By 2050, NYC's average temperature is expected to rise between 4.1 and 6.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit, and annual precipitation is expected to increase between 4 and 13 percent. Dangerous waves are also now 20 times more likely to overwhelm the Manhattan seawall than they were 170 years ago. The Mayor's Office of Recovery and Resiliency released the city's first ever climate resiliency design guidelines in early May 2017. The document recommends building design strategies for how to mitigate extreme heat, precipitation, flooding, and storm surges. It also links to an interactive map that shows which streets are in the danger zones for flooding from the 2020s to 2100. Catastrophic flooding in New York City, similar to destruction from Hurricane Sandy, is predicted to become far more common in the coming decades. Rising sea levels could prompt devastating floods that used to occur once every 500 years to happen once every five years by 2030 to 2045. Fingers crossed the experts are wrong. Number three, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a city that's extremely vulnerable to climate change. Extreme weather is becoming more and more common. Since Hong Kong has a coastline of 455 miles, coastal flooding is likely when sea level rises. When there are tropical cyclones, flooding from storm surges will be magnified. Although the city has done substantial work on flood prevention over the years, it still can't withstand floods of higher strength. To cope with storm water flooding in the inner city, the government could adopt the sponge city concept to collect excess rainfall and integrate flood control in urban design. Instead of diverting surface water runoff, Sponge City aims at absorbing, capturing, controlling, and purifying rainwater runoff when it's in its own region. 
China has put forward the sponge city concept and selected 16 cities for pilot testing in 2015. The pilot sponge city projects in Beijing, Shanghai, and Xinjiang showed positive results as the concept seemed to be able to control 85% of runoff water. Number two, Sydney, Australia. The giant ice sheets of Antarctica and Greenland are melting faster than scientists previously and estimated, raising the prospect of a faster sea level rise. This places at risk low-lying areas of Sydney and other parts of low-lying Australia. New research from the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has lifted the plausible sea level rise by 2100 to as much as 6 to 8 feet. Theoretically, it's only a matter of time when it will happen and not a question of if. <laughs> if that 6-foot rise happens, the airport in Sydney, Brisbane, and Hobart will be largely underwater by 2100. Other areas at risk in Sydney from such a, a rise include Wentworth Park, Royal Botanic Gardens, Woolloomooloo, uh, and Rose Bay. Most of the areas highlighted as low-lying and vulnerable are the same ones that are already prone to flooding in big storms. According to the Coastal Risk Australia website, major infrastructure could be lost by the end of the century. Over 80% of Australians live 50 kilometers or less from the coast, and it's critical a solution is put into place soon. Number 1. Venice, Italy Sea level rise isn't the only thing that has Venice's famous canals rising ever so slightly every year. The city is also sinking. Whoops, that escalated quickly. Venice sinking was recognized as a major issue decades ago when scientists realized that pumping groundwater from beneath the city combined with the ground's compaction from centuries of building was causing the city to settle. But officials have put a stop to the groundwater pumping. However, floods are happening more frequently along Venice's canals now, and residents have to walk on wooden planks to stay above the floodwaters in large parts of the city about four or five times a year. A multi-billion dollar effort to install flood protection walls that can be raised to block incoming tides are almost done. These barriers were designed to protect the city from tides that are coming in higher as a result of rising sea levels. Venice sank about 4.7 inches in the 20th century because of natural processes and groundwater extraction. In addition to a sea level rise of about 4.3 inches at the same time, it's been calculated that the city and surrounding land could sink by about 3.2 inches relative to the sea in the next 20 years if the current rate holds steady. Fingers crossed for Venice too. Here's what's next. Your vacation spot for so many reasons. Too many to count, probably. But among them are the breathtaking volcanoes. And while the dangers associated with visiting a volcano should be fairly obvious, geotourism, as it's called, is still super popular. Aside from the lava flow itself, which is remarkably dangerous.